Hey guys, this is Backdraft and welcome to Sky Factory 3, episode 14. So in the last episode, we set up this platform that you guys can see behind me. And we added all of the, the seeds that we had to start growing crops in this little area over here. And we also moved our sugar cane to this area over here. So I'm going to actually grab some of this because it's going to be useful for the first thing that we're going to be doing in this episode. I'm going to grab everything that I can from here, and then we're going to head over to my uh, new mob farm that I made in the last episode as well. Well, not made, but expanded upon in the last episode as well. So let me head over there now. We're going to leave that behind. It can grow as much as it wants. Okay, so we are going to make a better storage system for this thing because as you can see it is already full <laughs> it's it's insane i mean i'm gonna grab those ender pearls actually where'd they go uh yeah so yeah i mean the first thing that we should do is we need to make an auto compressor for all of these loot bags so we can start getting some legendary loot bags i also changed this over here because it wasn't working for some reason on every barrel so i made it so that these are dedicated uh inserters for the rotten flesh and these are dedicated extractors to go into this chest here and as you can see we already got 52 dirt um another thing that i think i'm going to do is i'm going to dabble into another mod called colossal chest so where is it here we go uh that's not it colossal there it is okay so colossal chests so basically you can make a three by three by three area with the center um, empty, or you can go bigger than that if you want. You can go five by five by five, or I mean even as big as you want it to go. And you can make a colossal chest which can hold a crazy amount of items. And I'm gonna get rid of these two small storage crates. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to build um a couple more auto compressors so that we can start getting legendary loot bags now i do have one auto compressor over by my auto sieve i'm gonna throw these in here so that they can, I can get more pulsating iron but yeah i do have one auto compressor over here which i'm not currently using so i'm gonna snag that bad boy and then i'm gonna make a second one of them and we will start getting auto legendary loot bags let's check this out look 57 diamonds. I almost have an entire stack of diamonds in here, which is crazy. And then over here, our passive mob area is just going bazook. I mean, we've got a horse. We've got three cows. We've got a chicken. We've got roosters. we got all sorts of things just chilling in here. So we're eventually going to start uh, screwing around with those guys as well. But for now, I'm keeping all my loot in here. So let's work on getting our second auto compressor and I have completely forgot the recipe for that it's yeah that's simple so four crafting tables and some iron so let me grab all that okay whoopsie alrighty And then we need a block, I believe, just one. Okay, and boom. Okay, so I think two is all we're going to need. Um, and I need to make a few more item conduits as well. So let's come over here and let's check out what's going on. Oh, yep, we got a lot of molten pulsating iron in there. So I've been filling it up in this basin over here so that I could eventually get a block. And it looks like we are there. And then I think there should be one more ingot two more ingots so we'll just make those there and i don't think we're going to be running out of pulsating iron anytime soon i uh, need to eat a couple of these here is that all set not quite we'll grab that we'll grab that and we'll make one more and we'll get some more iron while we're at it as well might as well okay that's almost finished there okay coming there we go all right uh that's almost done We'll make those into nuggets and just waiting on that to finish. really don't think we need to, but I want to. 
Okay, coming. Alrighty, we have a block of pulsating iron. <laughs> we'll just make them all into nuggets for now because I don't think we're going to need um, ingots anytime soon. And if we do, we can always just recraft them. So let me grab some composite that I've got chilling somewhere. At least I thought I did. Um, where is it? Binder composite. Or do I have any more item counter? Um, am I blind? Do you guys see it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I keep it in my orb box for whatever reason. Alrighty, so that's going to be conduits. And we'll make a few of them. Yeah, because we're always going to need more of those. Alrighty, so let's get this going. Um, oh, I almost forgot. We also need, uh, the reason I needed the sugar cane, is we need a few item filters as well. So we'll make a bunch of paper. And I have a bunch of hoppers left over from when I deconstructed them out of the mob farm over there. I thought I looked at that underman for a second. <laughs> But I didn't. Where are the hoppers? There they are. Okay. So we're going to need two item filters. Okay. And where are the hoppers? Are there. All right. So we'll need a couple of those. And we'll go throw all this stuff away. And then we'll sleep through the night. Don't need the iron or the pulsating nuggets. Um, we'll hold on to the steel. I've been holding on to that. So we need those. We don't need that wood, so we'll throw that away for now. And let's take a nap. Boom. We're done. Okay. <laughs> ah, I can't wait to get I can't wait to get rid of these Endermen. They're just such a pain. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna go off camera at some point and build that inhibitor obelisk that I need to stop them from uh spawning. But for now, let's just do this. So I'll put one compressor there and one there so then i can say that this and we'll need one that hmm. um i think we'll need to do that and i don't have a wrench how do you make one of these uh electrical steel which i don't have <laughs> okay we'll look into making one of those some other time and we'll need to do that there all right, so for this one, we'll say that this can only insert common and uncommon loot bags. And that should be filling up already. Oopsie, that's not good. <laughs> Oop, need that. Um, yeah, I don't really care. Okay. Um, there should be tons of them. Why aren't more flowing in? Oh, they need power. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Dang. Um, that's okay. We'll figure that out in a second. And this is going to extract um, only rare and uncommon. So I need to grab a rare one. Okay. Oops. Oh, and then this needs to feed back onto itself as well. So this is going to insert common and uncommons, and this is going to extract uncommon and rare and loop it back upon itself. Now, this one over here is going to insert, and we'll loop it back around itself. This is going to insert, um, I had another item filter. Where did it go? Oh. Whoopsie. Okay, I need a couple, uh, uh, two more item filters because I need two per compressor. So let's come over here. Um, yeah, let me grab my paper back and my hoppers back. And we'll make two more of those bad boys. Alrighty. Okay, so let's come back. And... All right, so this here will only insert um, rares, and then we'll need to make an epic as well. So we'll grab four rares. Okay. And epic. So let's see what's in there right now. 
Nothing's in there right now. Oh, my bad. That's insert. Uh, we'll grab that, and then we'll go back to insert. And I can only insert rares and epics. Okay. All right, and then here we will extract epics only. So we will throw epics in there. And then legendaries will also be extracted from here once I actually get one. Okay, and then this will be extract always on. And that, oh no. Ah. Um, I'm going to have to figure this out. So that's insert commons. Oh, and then we'll do this here, which will say extract all of the different types of loot bags. I'm going to need another filter. Let me go off camera. I'll figure this out. I need to get power over here anyway. So I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. We stand in the shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> well, not exactly. The Colossal chest so this is a five by five by five colossal iron chest it took me forever to get all the iron for this i was away for about maybe 45 minutes since my last clip but we are now good to go to start transferring our items into a better storage unit and compressing the loot bags down so let's get started so the first thing i need to do is i need to connect this to the colossal chest this is the main line from the inside of the farm boom and boom set that to insert and bam oh yeah so the next thing i need to do is i need to get all the loot out of these things back into here and the way i'll do that is pretty simple i'll just extract them make sure they all go into here and we'll set this bad boy up there and we'll let those go now in the meantime i need to set this one up as well so we'll set that to extract and these should all be good to go there should be no need to touch anything else okay and i need to put my item filter back onto here for rotting flesh and that should be good to go Okay, um, extract, always on, extract rotting flesh, um, not sure what's going on with these bad boys here, um, do I have to up the priority maybe, um, huh, not sure what's going on. Um, okay, we'll worry about that in a little bit, but this thing, I mean, I'm scrolling, and as you can see, this has just so much storage. I'm actually going to throw all of this stuff in there that I don't need, and yeah, we should be good to go. I'm going to let these go. They're still going like bats out of hell. <laughs> I'm not sure why these... Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay, that's all good to go. Um, I'm going to go sleep so that you guys can see a little better. And then we'll continue on. I'm so excited we finally have a colossal chest. This thing is a monstrosity. Okay, I've only got three item filters. I think I may have lost one when I was deconstructing um, before. So let's make one more. And we have the hoppers in our inventory already. Okay, so... And in case you guys are curious, um, I'll show you guys how I did the colossal chest um colossal okay so it's an iron colossal chest so you need to make uh the basic chest walls which is just uh hardwood surrounded by iron and it gives you two chest walls you need to make one chest core which is just you add another piece of iron to the chest wall and i have two interfaces on there which is just a chest wall surrounded by cobblestone and that's how you insert and extract things from the chest so then i made a five by five area using those uh, blocks and this is what you got so this thing is like I said it is a monstrosity uh, that stuff is not right <laughs> um how is that happening it's not even there's no way that should be happening 
Hang on one sec. Let me clear some inventory space here. This isn't connected. I don't understand. Are we good now? Good? Okay, I think we're good now. Um, whoops, I accidentally opened that one. I might as well throw that crap away. Mm -hmm. Oopsie. I mean, we'll get rid of that, that, we don't want the bat bag, the jungle sapling we don't really need, and yeah, I think we're good. So we'll throw those in there. Um, I already have a juicer, so that's fine. We don't need those seared bricks either, so we'll throw that away. Okay, so I'm going to need one of those bad boys, one of those, one of those, and I don't think I have any epic, oh I do, okay. That's a little annoying. Okay, there we go. Okay. These should be good to go. This shouldn't be getting anything other than dirt. I think we're good to go. Are these empty yet? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's still cracking away. Okay, so it's time to start doing our auto. I don't think I can connect. Yeah, it won't let me connect unless there's an interface. All right, it's time to start doing our auto legendaries. So we'll set up three um, slabs there. We'll have one compressor here, one compressor there. And then we'll have an extract. We'll put a filter on there, and it's just going to be common, uncommon, rare, epic, and then we'll have a legendary. And then insert in here is just going to be common and uncommon, and we'll turn that on. Oopsie. We'll turn that on as well. This is insert. I apologize. We're going to go back here. This is going to be insert common and uncommon loot bags and power i'll worry about in a minute okay extract insert that is on a green channel that should be working i don't know why it wouldn't be so extract common uncommon rare and epic loot bags you can't get a legendary loot bag by default okay that looks okay and then from over here I'll come, actually need to move that one, throw that there. This is also going to be extracting, actually this one, just uncommon and common, and this one is going to extract rare and epic. Then we need to tell it to loop back around on itself, so we'll do one of these so then the, okay so this will be insert and I don't think we need a filter because that's extracting rare and epic this is also insert and we don't need a filter there either I don't think need to break that And this is also insert um, commons and uncommons. And that is insert everything that comes out of here. Okay, that looks like we're doing pretty good there. So this is going to be extract rare and epic. And this is insert everything that comes out of there. I don't know if I have any rares or epics in there right now. I do. I don't know why they're not coming out. Is this on? Nope, that's not on. There we go. And then this is going to be... I need one more filter, it looks like. Um, I don't need that one there. So this one is going to just be... Basic item filter circling back around the rares and the epics. I think, no, insert, so that inserts from there, oh, I'm sorry, and this extracts just the rares and epics, and we'll turn that on, okay, or I'm sorry, we're never going to need to extract a rare, it's just going to be the epics because once all the rares are compressed, the only thing that's going to be going in here is an epic. And then the rares from over here 
are going to be, this is going to extract just rares. So we do need another item filter. Let's go build another one. Okay. Do I have everything on me still? I don't have paper. Okay. Two, three, four. Yeah, ready. Two, three, four. One more item filter. Now this is just going to be extracting the rares out of this auto compressor here. So just the rares are gonna go into there. Then I need to worry about power. And this is going to be inserting only the, the stuff that's coming out of there, which is just rare loot bags, so I don't need to worry about anything with there. This is looping the epic loot bags back um, around on itself so it can make legendaries. Okay, so let's double check that everything is right here. So this is extracting commons and uncommons. This is inserting everything that comes from there. This should be extracting just commons. Or I'm sorry, just uncommons. And then looping them back around on itself to make rares. And then this should be extracting only rares. Make sure this is on here. Okay, now I need power. Okay. I need to check how we're doing on time here. Eh, I think we're doing okay. Alrighty. Um, the power... Okay. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about power right now. But I do know that I need an epic bag. I'm sorry. I need something that's going to hold my loot bags and I have my legendary loot bags and I have these crates right here I think they're both should be empty by now it looks like they are where did my where did my AIOT go what did it... oopsie how in the world did oh my god I almost had a panic attack. Um, okay, so then I need somewhere to store the bags. So I'm going to break these bad boys now. And we'll grab that, grab that, grab that, and grab that. And we'll smack that away. Okay. So this is looking pretty cool so far. I think I'm going to put... Um, we'll do a... I don't think I get coal out of this. No. Oh. Huh. Alrighty. I don't know how that got in there. It must have been from something before. But um, we need to put... Um, I think we're going to put our legendary storage somewhere else. <laughs> um, so we'll put it uh, probably in the middle here. Eh. No, I think we'll put the energy source here. And I think we'll do a lava generator. And I'll just put some crucibles underneath down there. And um, we'll put... We'll extract, we need an extraction point. Um, this is also going to be extracting legendaries, and once I get one, and then I think what we'll have it do is we'll come, um, we will come out here and here, and that's where the legendaries will be. So I just have to set up that to say insert only legendary loot bags, and I need to build another lava. Um, yeah, let's see if we can make one ourselves. So we need one, two, three, four. Yeah. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll be able to make one ourselves. And then I'll make one more item filter. And then I think I will do the power generation off camera because I think we're nearing the end of this episode. Okay. All right, guys, this is going to be our first legendary loot bag. And bam. Okay, so all I need is one more item filter, and then we should be good to go. Um, how are we on paper? Okay, that's okay. We have tons of sugar cane, so that's not a problem. Okay. 
Alrighty, let's set it up. Okay, so this is going to be insert legendary loot bags. Oopsie. Take that off of there. Insert legendary loot bags. Alrighty. So then that's going to loop around here, and that's the only thing that's going to go in there. Extract, insert everything. Um, extract just rares. Yeah, this should work. So all I need is to put a power generator in the middle there, and this thing will fire off. But unfortunately, that is all the time I have for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked it, please do not hesitate to hit that thumbs up. And if you like the series, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Head over to Twitter. That's at Backdraft Gamer. And give me a follow so you guys can know when the videos are being uploaded. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys again.